Hi guys, my name is Maho and today we're gonna keep learning about art therapy for children and teenagers. But today's video is about a question because some of you asked why children and teenagers? Well, I'm glad you asked because while I was researching my topic, um, there's a reason behind I chose children and teenagers, not like adults or like maybe old people. Because while I was browsing on the internet, I found out that art therapy really works well with all groups of people but specifically in younger people it is helpful because it is more creative, more fun and they can release many things that they can't throughout words so art therapy really works well with younger people and today I wanted to make something like creative and fun for you guys because here is all about art so I I started working on something and I hope you really like it so if you want to know how to make um, the animation that I'm going to show you now uh, you sure can ask me in the comments or if you want to see more content like this uh, you should check out my my YouTube channel and make sure to like this video so goodbye guys I leave you with the animation Hello there my name is Maho and today we are going to learn many new things. I'm 17 years old, but throughout all my life I've struggled with mental health issues. Yeah, since I was a kid too. If you have seen my other videos on the channel, you know that here we are learning about art therapy for children and teenagers. And someone asked me a question and since it was already on the list of my topics, I wanted to answer it. Why that group in specific, like why children and teenagers? Let me explain you some things. Psychological disorders work different with younger people because their brains are not fully developed, so the process for healing trauma isn't the same. And surprise, kids don't like using words. They like to run, to play, to sing, to dance, they like any stuff but they don't like to talk why talk that's boring and teenagers feel better when they have the control of their own lives and actions and even their thoughts because sometimes they are not allowed to so because our therapy gives them this new space to do different things it is just perfect for this group of people they don't have to feel the expectations of anyone when we are talking about grown-ups, the communication skills they have are better already, so regular therapy usually really works with them. But not with children and teenagers. For them, there are many many fun and creative ways to receive professional help and keep on healing their trauma. Learning about mental health issues and how does it affect the younger generations is essential to take care of the people we love and to build a more empathetic society for the future. Remember to always be kind guys, we all have problems, we all have battles inside and things we don't tell people, but our struggles and weaknesses can become our strengths. I hope this video was helpful and fun to watch. If you want to see more content like this, go check my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching!